Hi, my name is Roger Mays, and welcome to our Lysistrata edition of Behind the Scenes, put together by my very good friend, Dan Binkard. Inside, you're going to hear from our actors and our students what they like about their roles, what our story, which is for mature audiences, is all about, and what they like about being a student at Shadron State College. My name is Sarah Labor and I play Alyssa Strata. She's referred to as the ringleader. <laughs> she gathers all the ladies together to try and take on this um, male um, society. I'm Tammy Rethman. I play the part of Meereen. My character is one of the women who decide to hold out on sex from the men. I'm Ryan Steinauer and I play the magistrate. He is the uh, leader of Athens. Women have taken over his city, so he's fighting to regain control from this rabble of women. I'm Nathan Wojciechowski. I play the part of Synesius. He comes home after years of war. It's kind of like a break, and he wants to see his wife. He wants to love her, and then he finds out that she wants absolutely nothing to do with him. The beauty of this play is its timelessness. It is 2,400 years old, and yet it comes down to a battle of the sexes, and it also is about trying to end war and establish peace. The basis of the idea is the women of Greece, tired of the Peloponnesian War, have decided we are going to end this. But being women in this particular society, we don't have a lot of power, so we have to think of a way what we have control over, so they decide that they will go on strike. No more romance till the war is called off. Now, it becomes a test of wills. This is for mature audiences, just because of the topics and the way they're discussed. That's what makes it so hilarious because the women have turned to the one thing that they have control over and they wield it like an ax. You can expect to laugh at everything. Just be prepared for anything and everything. Just so funny and even some nights we can't even hold it together. We have to stop and have a, have a giggle because there's some really outrageous funny stuff going on. A lot of innuendos, a lot of those symbols that represent the suffering of the men and what these women are really doing to society. What would I do if my husband was at war? What would I do to get him to come home? How much am I willing to give up to get him home? To establish the power of women within a society in a play is a powerful idea, one that's probably still very much part of our conversation today. It's a modern adaptation. And like all Greek plays, we don't perform plays in the original Greek. We can neither read it nor speak it. The author did more than just say, I'll turn the Greek words into English words. Rather, they said, I'll cut, I'll paste. The conflict itself has been unchanged. It's a really interesting adaptation because they managed to sort of make it funny for modern times, like um, jokes that everyone can get. I think the most interesting thing to me would actually be our scene. I love it. It really shows the struggle of the men and the women holding out on each other because the men won't cave in and the women won't cave in either and it just kind of shows the power struggle between the two sides. Everyone is always just so energetic and fun. I, I think that that's the best part is just I get to meet all these great new people who are just fun and love to act and, and do all sorts of really neat stuff and I really love that. It's interesting to see the things they struggle with that I struggled with and trying to help them out. Everyone's having fun with this, I think. When we go to rehearsal, everyone wants to be there, everyone's having fun. Life as a theater student is crazy, and it's full of so much you get to do that you wouldn't as a different major. I appreciate all the, the opportunities for learning. Uh, there's so many different aspects of theater, and Scott and Roger do a really good job of hitting every area and getting their point across so you understand it. They want you to do your best, and they'll do anything and everything and push you to your limits to get you to do that. 